Our first section is phonics. Let's read the directions. Circle the word that matches the picture, then write the word on the line. So you're going to look at each of these pictures, then you're going to look at the words underneath. You need to see which one matches the picture, circle it, and then write that word on the line. Do that for each of those pictures. Our next section is grammar. Directions are complete each sentence with the correct noun. Your nouns are over here in the box. You have to pick one of those nouns. Please circle it over here and write it on the line. The first one says, the blank are red. Your choices are apple or apples. Number two, my blank is dirty. Your choice is shirt or shirts. Number three, blank sleep in caves. Bears or bear. Vocabulary. Choose the correct definition for the bold word. Remember, bold means it's darker and the letters look a little bit bigger or thicker. So these are my bolded words. We need to see which one of these words mean what the bold words means. Number one, Miss Lamb selected the winner for the best costume. What does selected mean? Yelled, chose, or carried. Number two, Edith crept quietly into the room. We're looking for what crept means. Think about what the sentence is giving you for clues. Crept, moved slowly, jumped loudly, or ran quickly. Fill in those letters. All right, over here we have our reading informational text. Read the passage, then answer the questions. Our passage today is about maple syrup, and there's a picture for you, so you can put it in your brain. Maple syrup completes a pancake breakfast, but how is it made? Maple syrup comes from maple trees. The trees have a sweet liquid inside. It is called sap. People make holes in the trees. Sap comes out of the holes. It drips into pails, just like the pail we see here. It's dripping into air. Next, people cook the sap. The sap gets very hot. It gets thicker and sweeter. Now it is maple syrup. So we've read our story about maple syrup. Now we're going to answer the questions. Number one, what is sap? And you can look up here and you can even see it's bolded. Sap is right there. So read around sap and see what it is. A, the liquid inside trees. B, a hole in the tree. Or C, maple trees. Fill in what bubble would be the correct answer. Number two, what happens after sap drips into pails? People cover the tree holes. B, people make holes in the bucket, or C, people cook the sap. Fill in the right letter. And our last section is conventions. Rewrite each sentence, capitalize correctly, and fix punctuation mistakes. A lot of people are not rewriting the sentence. You have to write it again correctly. That's why there are lines there. So the first one we have, we recycle paper, glass, and plastic. So I should be seeing capital letters and punctuation marks. And I'll give you a hint for this one. I should see commas whenever I have a group of things listed. So there should be a comma here, a comma there, and then the plastic should have a punctuation at the end to um, end my sentence. So capitalize, punctuation, and rewrite it down here, please. Number two, Pete was born on November 22nd, 2012. Now I need my capital letter. I also need punctuation for my date. Remember, I need a comma after my number, after my date, my number. So this number is November 22nd. I should have a comma go in there and then a punctuation at the end of my sentence to finish it off. Now, this sentence also has two capital mistakes. You know the first one, but there's another one that should also be capitalized. Rewrite the sentence on the line and make it correct, please. 